question number 18 an asteroid falling towards a planet has a speed of 20 km per hour per second at a point p so v1 is given 10 minutes later time is given the asteroid is at a point q as its speed is 20.6 km per second so what has happened 20 km per second 20.6 km per second which means what the speed has increased right so this is your point p this is the earth over here this is the point q okay it is now coming towards it like this maybe it's circling like this this point could also be here but anyway we will consider this vertically like this what is the average field strength at point p and point q so which means now this is 20 km per second this is a 20.6 20.6 km per second and the time taken for it is nothing but 10 minutes very easy question right so this is your v1 this is your v2 you need to find out what is the acceleration gravitational field strength gravitational field strength is nothing but v1 minus v2 divided by t a which should be 20 minus 20.6 divided by 10 sec 10 minutes 10 minutes right so which i will do what i will do is this 0 0.6 0 0.6 what is this now meter per second square right meter per second square divided by uh, sorry meter per second meter per second divided by minutes i will convert this into seconds sir. so 10 into 60 over here so when i do this what do i get here i get this as 0 0.6 divided by 600 which would be 6 ones are ones are here which is 0 0.1 divided by 100 which is equal to 10 to the power of minus 3 but see what is this now it's not meter it's kilometer per second kilometer per second is 0 0.1 kilometer so this is also kilometer i'll write this as kilometer or 10 power minus uh, 3 kilometer per second that's what i got but what is given here newton per kg so what i need to do is it should be in standard units so if i do this this will become 1 meter per second this will be 10 cube 10 cube into minus 3 will be 1 1 meter per second which is nothing but 1 newton per kg how is it 1 newton per kg if you ask this question then you see force equal to m into g over here right m into a or m into g newton second law of motion this g i am writing this as a f divided by m over here if this has the standard units of meter per second square then this will have sorry this is will have newton per kg okay so therefore the answer is 1 newton per kg answer is c